Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about front-end and back-end becoming obsolete. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, is back-end going to become obsolete while front-end becomes a full-stack role via cloud solutions such as Firebase that gives us basic fun server functionality? Nope, not at all. Uh, because the backend systems, I know that that sounds, <laughs> it might sound weird to some people, but backend, guys, backend is enormous in terms of what it could potentially be doing. And something like Firebase is really only there to give you, in many cases, basic functionality that the backend does, such as like authentication, storage, things of this nature, and of course routing and things like this. These sorts of things, although you can abstract them away and put them in Lambda functions, such or like, uh, which basically is what Firebase is, uh, well, that gives you some functionality and sure, then the front, uh, we can talk about front and becoming a full stack sort of role. But the overall work that a backend developer does is still, well, it, it's still the case that a lot of larger systems require more than what a what Firebase setup can give you. The thing that is a little bit confusing for a lot of people, I think, is like the responsibilities of the backend systems and the responsibilities of a backend developer. So Firebase is backend development, technically. Because what you are, the only thing that Firebase is giving you, or like uh, AVS Lambda functions, etc., etc., is it's just giving you a server which where there is business logic that still needs to be implemented. And that is the realm of the backend developer. Now, if you run a more traditional application, such as we do with, uh, well, most systems that are not running on like any type of um, uh, serverless type of stack, well, then sure, there's more to it. There's like environment, you might, if you're running in Java, you might have a server that you need to deploy your Java code to, or PHP needs to set, be set up with Apache, etc., etc., right? And if you do Node.js development, for example, you need to run a Node instance, and you, most of the time, like in these days, at the very least, we're moving over to using things like containers and so forth. And depending on where you sort of draw the box of what the backend guys and girls are doing, that is all part of what they are doing. But it could also be that they're just sitting there with Firebase implementing backend functions. And so this idea that the front-end developers are becoming full-stack developers sort of in, sort of gives you, I think it gives you a hint as to what I'm going for here. If you know how to work in Firebase, you are a full stack developer. If you do both the full and front end and the and the Firebase development, because the fi Firebase is the back end, it's just a different way to run a web server. And the same thing is true for the back end developers. Some back end developers know nothing about Docker or like Kubernetes or any of the cloud solutions or anything like that. All they really are doing, quote unquote, is to run the control, well, I'm not going to say it, it because it doesn't have to be uh, MVC, but if you create the, or the API, you can create that API in Firebase or you can create it in like a Rails application or whatever, like you're still a back-end developer, you're doing the back-end work. And the thing that a lot of front-end developers don't seem to understand is that the idea that you can only work with the UI level is actually only true in some circumstances. But the reality is that most of the time a front-end developer has to know how to build a basic REST API to work on something, say, like Firebase, or to create a Next.js server or an Express server or sales or whatever. It doesn't really matter what you're using. That is not something that is considered to be back-end exclusive. It really depends on what type of setup you have. And so this idea of front-end, back-end type of developers is more, I think it's more accurate to say that in a really large system with a lot of different services, there are services or that are usually just API servers of some sort that don't have 
a UI attached to them. They're not like a standard uh, monolithic application or anything like that that serves up some type of web pages or anything like that. They're just another system that maybe the front end connects to or you know, something like that. So in a very specific setup you can have, and I've seen, this is a not that uncommon way of working, you might have a front end team that like works on a create react app or like an angular app or like it doesn't really matter what they have right and they have like their own little tiny backend servers uh, that you know, serves up the ui and then they connect to the backend systems for data and different business logic and stuff like that and then the backend developers take care of those other systems that are like never connected to by like a browser or anything like that not directly it's just something that's uh, another down is a downstream system from uh, or like it's something that the front end uh, front end connects to, right? And so that's the thing that I think that you should consider when we talk about you know Firebase replacing things because even if you were to say today we're going to build all the things in Firebase, you would still need either full stack developers or back end developers to deal with that because there's no like Firebase is is the back end. There is no no distinction to be made that oh this is Firebase backend development and there's like I don't know .NET development it's just a different way to run a web server. So what I want you to take away from this is that the backend developers are not going to be obsolete because really big serious systems usually needs a lot of people working on the backend logic because there's a lot of backend logic depending on the system you're dealing with and it doesn't really matter if it's a firebase system or if it's an lambda like any serverless system it's still the backend there's so, usually so much backend logic going on that you, that you need the people to do this and sure you can argue that the front end developers could learn that but then again then if the front end developers can do the firebase development why not just call them full stack developers because that is what they are, uh, technically. It's there because the, I mean, if you've ever worked in, say, Node.js, if you can implement a Firebase backend, you can imp implement an Express server. I can basically promise you that much. And so the way we usually think about backend, frontend developers and so forth is that the backend developers take care of all the backend stuff, regardless of if it's Firebase, Lambda functions, or whatever it is, right? Or if it's Rails or Python or whatever, it's just a web server. And the front-end developers think usually that they primarily focus on the UI, which is true. But it's it's very for those of you who have been doing some serious work uh, should at some point start have started to notice that this range of what could be considered front-end sort of ish can span from that you only do the the front end, like the UI, that's the only thing you do, all the way to that you have your own like back end for front end server made in Next.js or some node or whatever, right? You have your own monolithic quote unquote application, full stack system that connects to other back end systems. So there you go, you're a full stack developer. And that's why I tell people who want to get into front end the idea that you should only focus on design and UX and like just the things that are visual. It's very naive and it's very likely that if you have that approach you're not going to get all the jobs that you might think uh, that you're applicable for. And trust me when I say this guys, I have interviewed a lot of people and I always say the same thing. Front-end developers who come in with the UI perspective first usually fail at every job application where the company wants real engineers, like front-end engineers. It's great if you know UI and UX and so forth, but front-end is not about design. Front-end is about software. And so you need to understand the software. And that means that in many cases, the best software, the best front-end developers are actually full-stack developers because the complexities of the front-end stack it includes potentially more than React, Angular, Vue, or like CSS and HTML. There might be an entire server behind it that connects to other more sophisticated backend systems. Have a great day.